Hello my loves, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Um, so tonight's video is going to be on um, different colored candles um, and how each color corresponds to a, a different situation um, depending on what kind of um, ritual work that you're doing. So um, now you've heard me talk about um, saint candles and how they're good for um, certain situations. Uh, but this time around, I'm going in a different direction. So we're gonna be talking about um, different colors of candles, uh, figural candles, and uh, what they're commonly used for and, and the meaning of each candle. Um, fun fact about this also, if you are working with a specific saint, um, spirit, or deity, um, for a specific type of work, um, these candles can also be used as support candles. Um, so you have your main one, which is the the bigger one, the main focus of your of your ritual work, and then you have other little uh, taper candles around it, which symbolize um, the support candles. So um, without any further ado, as always, you know, let's begin. So first up. Um, I have here a few uh, pink candles. So these are all the pink candles that I have. Um, over the weekend I went um, to my local botanica shop and I uh, stocked up on a few candles. Um, you know, just for that little, to give my, my ritual work a little bit of a boost. So, um, I went and I got these little support candles. They're so cute. Um, 39 cents each. Um, so I, you can bet, best believe that I stocked up on every single one. Um, but the, um, this is a pink candle. So pink is commonly associated with love and romance. So if you're doing a, um, a spell or ritual work um, invoking a saint for love, um, which common saints associated with uh, finding love would be Saint Anthony, um, Saint Martha when you want to dominate somebody, um, Saint Catherine, Saint Helena, um, or whoever, you know, whatever the case may be, um, and you want to add support candles, pink candles are perfect when you want a um a sweet uh, romantic love now green as you all know um is about finances so it has to do with finances so any prosperity work um any spells where you want to bring in more money if you want to find a job that pays you more um you would light a St. Joseph candle or um, any like a job candle um, and then put these uh, the, the miniature green ones around it as your support candles and you can write on here um, on the on the little candles just inscribe with like a nail or a pin um, something you know new job or more money or put dollar signs you can put symbols you can put words whatever you want uh, anything that symbolizes money. Orange is for success and open roads. Um, so, in the for the orange ones, you would um, commonly associate with new opportunity. So, um, they go good with uh, with an open road candle. Um, so. This is for more of an opportunity, um, so you would uh, burn these with, uh, like I said, with an open road candle, and you would inscribe uh, on onto the candle like new job or new new opportunities, whatever the case may be. Um, now the orange one and the yellow go um, hand in hand, so it would be if you're doing a spell for prosperity and success, and and to clear a path for you for uh, for opportunity you would combine the orange with the yellow 
and the green. Uh, the green being for prosperity, the orange for um, opportunities, and the yellow for success. This one as well can go with um, the open road uh, candles. You can light them with, um, if you're doing a, a ritual working with St. Peter, um, he's the go-to saint also for um, any opportunities for success um, to remove any blockages that are preventing you from getting um, a job or from seeking other uh, opportunities elsewhere. Black. Um, black is usually used for uh, protection. A lot of people uh, use it for uh, negative work, but um, on the positive side, uh, it can be used for protection. So you can inscribe on the candle, uh, protect from evil or remove blockages, um, whatever the case may be. Now, when you're working with a black candle and you are wanting to remove something, uh, you would write the um, the word or the petition on the candle when you inscribe going down from the wick to the base um, because you're trying to push it out. You don't want it anymore. So you would write it from, start from the wick, go down to the base. Especially when you're dressing um, your candles with oil. If you are using a jinx removing oil um, or... Um, go away evil or uh, whatever oil um, that you're using that is necessarily for that purpose to remove any negative energy, you would uh, start from the wick and go down to the base and apply the oil that way because you're, you're pushing out all that negative energy and making room for positive uh, vibes to come in. White is used for purity. And as I have mentioned before in past videos, um, it is also good for, um, for like new opportunities or whatever the case may be. It's like, uh, it's all purpose, pretty much. Um, you can use it for any situation. Um, you could use it for love, you could use it for money, you could use it for job opportunities, for success, for, to remove blockages. This will work well when you burn a black candle to remove the negativity and then a white candle to bring in the positive. So when you are uh, doing that, if you want to bring in more blessings, um, dress it with um, like blessing oil and uh, you would apply it upward because you're bringing in all that good, that good energy, that good vibes. Purple which is next, um, is more of a power uh, candle, royalty, authority. So if you are one of those that you are doing a ritual where you want to be recognized, where you want to be um, um, remembered for something or well-known, um, you want to be that go-to person, the one that people come to for advice or for um, anything having to do with business, where you're trying to move up, <clears throat> up the ladder and you want them to see you in, in a better light, uh, you would light a, a purple candle um, and inscribe on here, you know, your name uh, going up and put on there, you know, uh, respect, uh, loyalty, um, I don't know, something like well-known. Even when you write a, a petition, um, if you want to be more elaborate, you can use a petition paper as well. Um, but if you write on this, just remember that your space is limited. So just leave it to like a couple of words like loyalty, um, fame, um, you know, a popularity, being well known in your company, in your social circle, whatever, whatever the case may be. This is perfect for um, any... Um, Leo, any fire signs like Leos, Aries, Sagittarius um, that want to be uh, well known, that would like to shine um, in work or school or, wh or wherever they are. Um, that is the 
uh, candle that you would use for that type of situation. Um, blue is for uh, healing, um, communication. So um, I associate this color with um, Saint Dimphna. As if you remember the video that I had posted about Saint Dimphna uh, a few years back, um, she is the patroness of uh, mental illness, and um, her color is blue. So blue is all about emotions, dealing with your feelings, um, any sort of like rift that's caused between you and a loved one. If you want to uh, make up and um, for them to open up to you more, to talk, um, to kind of heal for yourself and or in general, uh, you would use a blue candle. Red is used for um, love as well. It's not like the um, the pink, um, even though they are for the same situation. Pink is more of a romantic love, whereas red. Is more of a passionate love so if you want um, someone you know if you're trying to get somebody to come back to you or if you're trying to get somebody to see you um, to be like you know attracted to you in some kind of way uh, you would use uh, a red candle and you would write your petition from the base toward the wick because you wanted this to come to you um, most often people use red um, when they're doing a uh, come to me spell um, or when they're trying to dominate somebody they'll use a red candle along with um, a Saint Martha so let's say for example like you have a partner that you just um, that's kind of strain and you want them to pay more attention to you then you would um, you would use a Saint Martha candle um, either red or green it doesn't matter uh, they're both um, her colors so you can use either or or white um, and then write the person's name uh, on the bottom of the candle fold the paper toward you because you want to bring this person to you and then dress it with um, come to me oil and jasmine oil in the, the saint martha candle and then you anoint this to give that extra boost you would put the um the red candles with um the saint martha but you would put it like around the seven day candles and you would anoint each candle with um jasmine oil come to me oil and maybe some uh catnip or um damiana or whatever um herbs that um you use for attraction So next is um, the figural candles, and figural candles are a lot different than these. Uh, these are just the basic, um, just standalone um, can, just plain candles. These figural candles are more specific because you can actually um, write on these, like inscribe more. You have a lot more room to um, inscribe um, whatever your petition is. You know, you can write your name, date of birth whatever the situation is that you want. Um, now, these candles um, in particular, this candle right here is a crucifix candle. So this, again, is good for money. Um, and you can write on here, you know, your name, date of birth, and then you could write uh, more money. You could put dollar signs. You could put um, anything that has to do with good fortune. You can carve this into the candle. Uh, and you can also add like uh, money drying oil, prosperity oil. Um, you anoint the three parts of the cross, or you can get some um, oil, put it on your hands, rub it in your hands, and then apply it to the candle in an upward motion. Um, and once you've done that, spend some time with the candle, um, hold it in your hands, let let it um, absorb your energy and then it's like almost like talking to God which you are but um, it's like if you actually 
have him physically here and you are having a conversation with him and you're telling him that you want you know to be be more successful in work to be to have um good opportunities coming to you that the money will continue to flow um no matter where you are um that you will never be without uh, that is what the green uh, crucifix candle is for there's also one in white and as i said um white is all purpose so um for any situation that you want um money love success um any kind of um situation that you're going through just you can inscribe it uh into the candle with a nail or some kind of like sharp uh object um and just write your name and then write the situation or um put the situation first and then write your name on over it to kind of um as a way to tell the spirits like okay this is what i want and like i'm gonna be the one to get it so um that is what you do for this and you can anoint it with oil with um you can do prosperity oil you can do open road oil you can use whatever um oil um you need to or you feel that you need to to gain what it is that you want um so that is the white uh crucifix candle and then the last one is the skull candle and i have it over here a uh, skull candle a green skull candle skull candles are used when you want to uh, influence someone's thoughts um, and their way of thinking or your own way of thinking um, too. If you have no one in mind, if you just want to um, kind of sway your thoughts a little bit um, about a certain situation, then you would use a skull candle. And what you do with the skull candle is that you write the petition or you write the person's name. Um, some people do it in the back um of the of the candle because like as if to say you know when you're thinking of something oh in the back of my mind i'm thinking this that's um what this is for so you would write the petition or the the name or the the key word so to speak on the back of the scroll candle and you would anoint the candle um with a certain oil um for whatever situation so Let's say, for example, this is a green skull candle. If someone owed me money, um, I would want, and I wanted that person to pay me back the money that they owe me, then I would put uh, the oil, I would apply the oil um, in an upward motion uh, onto the candle, and I would um, anoint also the candle on the forehead. Because you're kind of like blessing is what you're doing. You are um, blessing that skull candle uh, with the name of the person who owes you money. Or if it's certain people, um, you know, I bless, anoint, and um, empower this candle in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, whatever I do to you, I do to this person. Whatever I influence on them, whatever I influence on you, I influence on them. So... That is pretty much what this is um, used for. If it's green, it, it has to do with money. Remember that. So that was the candle um, that you use when you want to influence uh, someone's thoughts or whenever um, you want money that is owed to you, uh, you would use the green skull candle. Now, as with any um, ritual that I teach you guys, um, you always want to make sure that you cleanse, you do a cleansing either on yourself um, or you can cleanse the candles, you know, with the oils and the, you can use incense, um, holy water. Um, I use mine um, with holy water and um, sometimes I'll do it with um, incense and um, I recently started using Florida water. So... Here I have a bottle of Florida water 
And what I do is I use this uh, Florida water to cleanse all my candles first before um, I use them in rituals. Um, because the reason for doing that is because um, you want to make sure that you get any bad juju off of it. Because there's a lot of people that go into um, stores like candle shops and herb shops and um, they, they touch the candles and you don't know what kind of energy that person has. So if you come home, if you buy a candle, come home, light it and it doesn't go your way, then it probably has something negative attached to it. And you need to do a cleansing before you can light another candle. <clears throat> so um, that is how you, um, you would go ahead and um, cleanse your candles, either with um, holy water, Florida water. Um, you would use oils. Um, incense and then just run it through when you're um, when you if you're gonna do it with incense you light the incense stick or cone and you place the cone you just set it on the table if you're using a cone and you just run it through make sure it's cleansed and then do that for like about mm, like two minutes and just kind of think of all that negative energy that's just sliding off of it and then making room for all that positive energy to come in. Um, and then that's when you start, you know, with your holy water, your Florida water, and then you um, apply the oils, or you inscribe what it, what it is that you want, then you apply the oils, and um, you, you go from there. So um, I hope you guys found this video informative. Um, I know I was kind of like, rushing through it but I just I didn't want to um, miss anything I didn't want to like feel like I was repeating myself but um, as always thank y'all so much for uh, joining me tonight I really really do appreciate all the comments and the positive feedback that I've been getting from my videos I'm so glad to know that it's been helping you all and it's impacted you in in a positive way um, so with that being said, um, I hope y'all have a really a very, very good night. Um, may God bless you all and care for you always. And remember how much I, I love you all and how much I, I appreciate your support because I couldn't do this without you. Uh, but um, as always, I love you guys. Good night. God bless. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.